this tutorial will visualize or will work with uh, forex data, so foreign uh, exchange rate data. So we get to download. To, uh, we can download the real world data on the download button. Uh, select uh, this data and uh, select some exchange rate. So whatever uh, currency rate you want to use. So let's do euro to dollar and let's take the month of April, so last month. You can download the data, save it. So this is the exchange rate of euro to dollar and a one month time frame. So last month. You can get two files um, right here. So we'll load the uh, .csv file into Excel it will press OK to import this data and if we have an actual uh, actual data in Excel from the real world so this is all exchange rate data and you might see that the header is missing so we can add that ourselves so this is date time the opening rate at the time of trading um, get a high and low and close and this is the volume so now we have all of the data at different times of the day so you see it's every minute we have a new uh, exchange rate and that goes up all the way so the entire month we have data for every day and pretty much every minute of the day. So we'll save this as an XLSX file. Um, so let's call it forex.xlsx. Save it. Save it into the Microsoft Excel format. And it's saved, so we got our file here called forex.xlsx which is this file and now we can actually use that data so we create a new program called forex.py and we'll use we will import this data so the data of this excel program all of this uh, forex data into python I just type import pandas as pd uh, which is the data analysis library so we need that to read excel data type read excel forex.xlsx and the first sheet so if you look at it you have it's actually called different but let's see if we can type it just sheet one and let's say the exchange rate is the entire uh, let's use the open column so all of this data rate open we want the entire rate into a list so we can actually print it and run our program um, it's quite a lot of numbers to print so let's so just print the first one Even then, we still have a lot of uh, data, so that might actually take a while. Got a loads of data that it is going to load everything, right? So and it doesn't recognize sheet one, as I mentioned earlier. So either we rename the sheet name in here, or we use this sheet name. Let's just use this sheet name because it's very clear. So the sheet is named the data euro to dollar, and this is the time, so 2016 in April. We run it now, it's loading, and we'll get the actual value. And I think we only print the first one now. I close the, the editor, but just wait for a second to see the data pop up. So this is the first rate the first opening rate um, the first 
value we actually got. Um, and uh, of course, if you get the first one, you get the first one, and this will print all of these uh, numbers in this entire uh, row. So we might want to actually um, visualize that. So instead of just using it in a list, we can draw it. So type import matplotlib, and we're going to change this style into something uh, more fancy. Then uh, you can say um, wait a second. Mm -hmm. So we'll import matplotlib. Uh, this program. We'll say plot this rate. Give it some title. This is uh, euro to euro to US dollar, and show this data. So we got the forex data it's loading right now, and if we're lucky, we're going to see some nice plot uh, once it finishes loading. Like before, that might take a uh, take a while. So there we got our exchange rate for the month of April. So we see that it changed quite a bit uh, over time. Uh, but we got real world data from the stock exchange, and we plotted into this chart. So there you go.